in an SHTF scenario, I say to have both rifles. Have an AR-15 and an AK-47. If you can have two guns, those would be both my choices, all right? I'm River Bay, and welcome to my gun kingdom. Okay, so we've pretty much decided on our SHTF rifles that we're going to include in our arsenal. And we have to be aware of one certain thing about an AR-15 and how you properly load the magazine into the gun. All right, so um, with the AK-47, um, a magazine can be inserted with the bolt closed or with the bolt open, it doesn't matter. Okay, but for the AR-15, now this is a Colt LE6940 M4. Uh, it does not have select fire, so it's just an AR-15 scaled down to look like an M4. And but anyway, this is probably Colt's one of Colt's best firearms they've ever made. The only modification I've done to it is I've replaced the muzzle brake to a more aggressive style, and this helps with the follow-up shots. All right, but you do get some blowback into into the face with this muzzle brake. But anyway, let's, let's talk about how we're supposed to load the magazines into each gun. All right, so these are these two guns I include in my SHTF scenario arsenal. All right, so, but I'm aware of how each one likes to be loaded with the magazine, okay? So with the AR-15, the gun is designed to load the magazine with the bolt open. All right, I don't know, you know, you might have experienced this yourself, but um, at the range, and that is if you go to the range and, and you load a magazine in it and the bolt's closed, right? You go, go and pull back the charging handle and you think you get one in there. Now, a lot of you might think that, well, I can hear if, if it goes in, the sound is, it is it's like, you know, different than if it doesn't go in into battery. Well, if there's a lot of noise going on, you might not be able to hear that, okay? So you have to be aware that these guns, these AR-15s, like to be loaded with the bolt open, okay? So you have to insert once you release your, if you're just starting out and you don't have, you haven't fired this gun and the bolt's closed and you go to stick a magazine in there, more than likely when you pull back on that charging handle and release it, one's not gonna go into battery. Okay, now you can pull it back slightly and check to make sure, and that's what I recommend either way, all right, if you have time, all right, so, but we're going to go over that today, all right, and we're going to change the camera direction here so where we can, we can see this demonstration. Now the AK-47, it doesn't care whether the bolts open or the bolts close when you insert the magazine into the gun. All right, so let's go ahead and turn the camera around and look at these two guns and how you're supposed to load the magazine. Okay, so let's start with the AR-15. And like I said before, this is a AR-15. Uh, it's an LE6940 made by Colt. Um, it's essentially an AR-15. All the internals are an AR-15. It's just scaled down to look like an M4. Um, it's not an M4 because it doesn't have select fire. So first thing we want to do, on the left side of the receiver I have my safety. So I'm going to check to make sure it's in the safe mode and the firearm is pointing downrange, okay? You don't want to practice this at home. Always practice it in a safe environment um, if you practice this. But let's go over how you should insert the magazine uh, for the AR-15. Now, I have several mags in front of me here. We're going to use the uh, 20, 20 round mag here. And let's load it. Um, the experts are saying when these magazines are fully loaded and you insert it into a closed bolt, 
one will not go into the chamber. So let's go ahead and close this and make sure that it's closed all the way and yes it is. So there we have a mag um, fully loaded. Um, it has 20 rounds in here and what you really want to do is load 19. So whatever your mag can hold, always hold one less. That's a, that's a good tip. So let's take one out of there. So now we have 19 total in there. So let's insert this magazine into the gun with the bolt closed. All right. Okay, it's fully inserted. All right, now what we're going to do now is we're going to check to make sure we're in the safe mode and we are in the safe mode. All right, so let's go ahead and pull the charging handle back. Now this doesn't happen all the time. Um, I would say it probably happens probably 60% of the time where if you, if you don't have the bolt open when you load the magazine, um, you'll, you'll notice sometimes that you'll think that one goes in. Well, and also you might think to yourself, well, I can hear what it sounds like when, a, when, a, when one feeds into the chamber, but there might be a lot of noise going on and you might not be able to do that. So the idea, perfect idea is to pull the, pull the charging handle back after you load one into the chamber and make sure it went into battery. That's the best thing to do. So let's go ahead and, and see what happens here with a fully loaded magazine of 19 and we're going to insert it into with the closed bolt and let's go ahead and load one in now actually the mag fell out so it wasn't all the way in so i'm glad that happened so let's check to see if one went in there no i do not have one in there but let's go ahead and uh since the sun is in my eyes let's go ahead and make sure insert the safety flag no one did not go in there all right so let's close the bolt again I thought the mag was fully inserted. You saw that and you heard it click. Okay. Now I'm not able to pull it out. Okay, so it's fully inserted. So let's try it again. We're in the safe mode. Pull the charging handle back. Now do we think that one went in there? Okay, it's hard for me to hear. I got muffs on. Uh, so let's, let's, what you want to do is pull the charging handle back slightly and see if one went in there. And one did go into the chamber. It actually worked that time. Sometimes it doesn't. And most of the time you'll get lucky and one will go in there and insert the magazine with a closed bolt. But they say these weren't designed to insert the magazine with a closed bolt. You always want to try to have an open bolt when you insert the magazine. So now, let's let it go forward, okay? Now, you notice the bolt didn't go all the way closed, okay? That doesn't happen with an AK-47. When you release the charging handle, you don't have to, you know, help it the rest of the way. So let's see if we can just kind of take our finger here, our thumb. There, it clicked into place, okay? All right, so now it's ready to fire, but it's in the safe mode. All right, so now let's try it with the, uh, let's re release our magazine first and let's release this shell here okay put it back in the magazine all right okay so let's load it insert the magazine with now see it went in there so much easier with the bolt open okay now some people like to not pull the charging handle back in this position they then the best thing, way to do so you get it fully all the way back is just take the charging handle and use that but some people like to use the uh, bolt release on the left side of the receiver so let's do that let's try that and see if one goes into the chamber i'm going to release it with the catch on the other side of the receiver here here we go all right now that sound, nobody's shooting at this particular time here at the range. And I think one did go into battery, but let's check. Let's pull it back and check. Yes, one did go into the chamber, okay? 
So we're getting lucky here. So let's go ahead and release it from here. See the bolt went closed when I released it from there. Okay, so. All right. So we're, we're lucky so far that these, uh, these uh, 223 ammo is going into the into battery. All right, so let's go ahead and release the mag again. And bring that shell out. All right, now, what you really want to do, and this I'll show you the correct way so one will always go into battery. You got a full magazine here. We got we loaded one less than it'll hold. So this is a 20 round magazine. I loaded nine. All right. All right so ideally, you want to have the bolt all the way open. Okay. And if you're shooting in a situation and you release a magazine and it falls on the ground, your bolt will remain open. Okay. And then it'll be fine. Okay, so let's go ahead, insert it. Okay, now let, from the here, let's let's do it the right way and pull the charging handle all the way back. Okay. Now I could hear that one went into battery, but let's check, make sure. Yes, right there, one did go into battery. See it? All right. So now let's just release it right there from that position. Okay, and it goes closed again. All right. All right, so we were lucky um, that all of them went into battery. Okay, so let's uh, switch over to the AK-47 now. So now we're here with the AK-47, and we have a Hungarian tanker magazine. This holds 15 rounds, okay? Okay. I loaded 15 in this Hungarian tanker, and let's go ahead and insert the magazine. Now we're going to leave it with the bolt closed. All right. Now I put this in. That will stay open there, but sometimes when I insert the magazine here, sometimes it will fly forward on me. So I don't want to take a chance. I'm just going to. Uh, leave it all the way forward, but with the AK-47 you can insert this magazine into this AK-47 with the bolt open or the bolt closed. It does not care. Okay, so let's go ahead and load this in. Okay, now watch. So when we pull back the charging handle, okay, one will go in there. All right, so let's pull it back see it and check to see if one went into battery and you can see here that one went into battery all right so now one thing i like about the ak-47 is i can just release that charging handle and there's enough tension on there to drive it forward all right so as opposed to the ar-15 sometimes you have to push on the charging handle or push on the bolt to get it closed well, let's go ahead and put this into safe mode okay it's in safe now. All right, so so we we verified that one's in the battery. Um, you know, you can if it's quiet, you can tell with with the sound that one goes in the battery also. But it has to be pretty quiet. So make sure when we release the mag that it's in the safe mode. All right, it's in the safe mode. Let's release the mag. All right, and we have to pull back that. We, we can't forget to take our uh, safety off because it won't, it won't eject the shell until we turn the safety off. All right, so let's go ahead and do it again. We'll do it three times. Okay, there's 15 in here. Okay, let's go ahead and put it on safe. That's what I like about steel mags. They go in real nice. All right, so take it out of safe mode to put one in there. Here we go. Okay, now let's check. But before we check, let's put it in the safe mode. Pull it back slightly. One is in chamber. OK, 
Okay, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's into battery. All right, let it go forward. You're all set. Let's try it a third time. So again, let's go ahead and release the mag first. Take it out of safety. All right, and eject the shot. All right. All right. Um, you notice that this this is holding back here on the Warsaw. Uh, sometimes it, it won't. Um, sometimes I'm lucky and it'll hold, but sometimes when I put the mag in and I go to in to click it in, make sure it's in there, this will fly forward. So I'd rather have it closed. And like I said, what's the purpose of having it open anyway? Because this gun wasn't designed to have the bolt open when you insert the magazine. Okay, it does not care. So that's an advantage over the AR-15. So in an SHTF scenario, I say to have both rifles, have an AR-15 and an AK-47. If you can have two guns, those would be both my choices, all right? So let's go ahead and try it again. Let's put it in safe. Insert the magazine. See how nice that steel mag goes in there? All right, I have problems with, with polymer mags, not lining up properly and not, not going inserting and seating properly like the steel mags do. All right, so let's take it out of safe mode. Let's put one in there. All right, and then put it back into safe to check to see if it went into battery. And as you can see, that one went into battery also. Hope my hand isn't in the way there. All right, all right. Let's get rid of the magazine again here. Take it out of safe mode and reject the shell. All right, all right. So very simple design, the AK-47, durable. Uh, reliable, uh, battle proven. You can't go wrong with it. It's an important gun to have in your arsenal just as much as the AR-15, but you have to know how each one accepts the magazines, all right? The AK-47, to sum it up, the AK-47 does not care if you have the bolt all the way closed when you insert the magazine. The AR-15, it's designed to have the bolt open when you insert the magazine. But as you notice in our demonstration that when we loaded the AR-15 with a closed bolt, that would go in there. But there's been times out here, and if you shoot a lot like I do, I shoot a lot because I make videos for you, and I try to bring you up to date on all the information out there because I don't want you to make a mistake. But there's many times, and I'll show you some footage um, you know, of times when a friend of mine was uh, loading his AR-15, thought one went in the chamber, he loaded it with a closed bolt, he inserted the magazine in a close, with a closed bolt, and he pulled back on the charging handle and nothing happened. It went click. Okay, and you, in an SHTF scenario, you don't want that to happen. So it's always safe to insert the magazine in the AR-15 with the bolt open. The AK-47, you can load it with the bolt closed. Okay, so now we know the difference between how the AK-47 works and the AR-15 works as far as loading the magazine into the rifles. Um, both are very important for an SHTF scenario, so if you can include both the AK-47 and your AR-15, that would be the best and wisest choice to do. Okay, so I hope I helped you out with this video, and if I did, make sure you hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button too, because there's always more future content coming up. And also, you know, leave me a comment if you've experienced anything like uh, loading issues, uh, loading the magazine into the AR-15 and the, and the AK-47, but I always appreciate hearing from you. But anyway, um, I appreciate you watching, and thanks for joining me today.